Okay, boys, we are back again, and this time we are making an NBA tier list. Obama, why do you always get to do the intros? Because you and Joe are incapable of having an organized, structured conversation. All you guys do is just curse and scream at each other the whole time. As the official leader of this group, I will now be doing the intros and running this tier list. Donald, that's my job, and you are not the official leader of anything. Since Obama is the president, then he should oversee the tier list. Sleepy Joe, you're the president. Oh, wait, am I? Unfortunately, yes. Somehow, someway, you are. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, now that we settled all that, let's get started on this NBA tier list. Up first, the Atlanta Hawks. Ice Trey is the best point guard in the East. He and DeJounte Murray are taking the Hawks to the finals this year. Put them in S tier. Ice Trey is so goddamn overrated, there is no way he is the best point guard in the East, and Hawks are nowhere near S tier, especially since they traded John Collins for a washed up Rudy Gay. Put them in the D, maybe C tier. I will admit that the Collins trade was horrible for the Hawks, but put some respect on Ice Trey, he is easily the best point guard in the East. Joe, what the fuck are you talking about? LaMelo, Brunson, and Darius Garland are all better. Trump, you're tripping if you think any of those scrubs are nicer than Trey. Donald, Joe is right. Trey is definitely the best point guard in the East. However, that John Collins trade was bad, and I worry about Hawks' depth late in the season. Hawks are going in the C tier. Next are the Boston Celtics. I don't care if they traded for Porzingis. The Celtics are trash. They traded away the heart and soul of their team, Marcus Smart, and I don't fuck with that. Plus, Tatum and Brown are hardcore chokers. Celtics are a B-tier team. Stop it, Donnie. Celtics are an S-tier team. They are, without a doubt, the best team in the Eastern Conference. Trump don't know shit about ball. Put Celtics in the S-tier, Obama. They have the best roster in the whole NBA. I'm telling you guys, Celtics are overhyped. Brown and Tatum aren't all that. Celtics will regress this year, especially without their key piece, Marcus Smart. Chill out. Celtics are going in S tier. Okay, now the Brooklyn Nets. Mikhail Bridges is a superstar. The Nets are going to run through the East this year. Put them in A tier. Trump, what in the actual fuck is wrong with you? You think the Celtics are a B tier team and the Nets are A tier? You're an idiot. Nets are nowhere near A tier, more like a C tier team. Yeah, Nets are nowhere near A tier, more like C or B tier. Plus, the Nets couldn't win shit with Harden, KD, and Kyrie. They are going to be even more trash now. COVID is the reason that team failed. The same could be said for your presidency. Shut up, Biden. Okay, Nets are going in B tier then. Next, the Chicago Bulls. As a diehard Bulls fan, I am excited for this upcoming season. Bulls have a lot of potential. Bulls are fucking trash. They won't even make the play in this year. Put them in D tier. Facts put the Bulls in D tier. They are not doing shit this season unless they make a splash trade. Guys, I'm telling you, Bulls are nice. That's what all you delusional Bulls fans have been saying since Jordan retired. We all know the Bulls are D tier. Stop bitching Obama and put them there. Fine, Bulls are going in the D tier. Now the Los Angeles Clippers. Kawhi and PG are washed and haven't done shit since they came to L.A. Plus, I don't fuck with that load management shit. Put them in the B tier. Chill out, Biden. Clippers roster is deep, and with Russ, they have a solid team. Kawhi is a superstar. They are S tier. Kawhi hasn't done shit since he left Toronto. He's not a superstar. It's not 2019 anymore. You don't know shit about ball, you casual. Kawhi is a superstar, and Clippers are contenders this year. Joe, the Kawhi slander is unnecessary. He is definitely still that guy. But I think Clippers are old, and for that reason, I can't put them in S tier. Therefore, Clippers are A tier. Next up are the Charlotte Hornets. LaMelo Ball is nice as fuck, and I think Brandon Miller is the next big thing in the NBA. Mark my words. The Hornets are going to be a good team this year. Put them in B tier. Donald, are you crazy? Hornets are nowhere near B tier. They are an F or D tier team. Trump, I low-key agree with you. Hornets are going to be a sneaky good team this year. Miller is a baller and LaMelo is dirty. Hornets are going in the D tier, but would be higher if they had a more proven roster. Okay, so Hornets in the D tier. Now the Cleveland Cavaliers. This Cavs team is so fucking overrated. I don't get the Donovan Mitchell hype and their big men disappear in the big moments. They are a C tier team. Darius Garland is a future star. Cavs belong in the B tier. 
Facts, Cavs have a solid roster and now have some playoff experience. I expect them to be a real threat this year. Put them in the B tier. Cavs were nothing and will continue to be nothing without LeBron. That's malarkey Donald. Cavs have had a good rebuild since LeBron left. Yeah, Donald's just being a hater. Cavs are going in B tier. Next are the Denver Nuggets. I am so fucking pissed. The bitch ass NBA Rob Jokic of his MVP. He is without a doubt a legend already. Dude is literally unstoppable. Nuggets are easy S tier. Nuggets are an S tier team, but more so because of Jamal Murray, not Jokic. Murray is a walking bucket. Jokic is a fat ass and is not better than Embiid. Biden, shut your old ass up. There is no fucking way that bitch Embiid is better than Jokic. The Joker is an all around player who has no weakness. He can drop a 30 piece on your head, give you 10 plus assists, and grab a cool 13 boards. The Joker is the best player in the entire NBA, no question. Embiid is more dominant. There is no fucking way you actually believe that you dementia patient. Chill out guys, we are ranking the teams, not players, and we all agree Nuggets are S tier. So they are going in the S tier. Now we have the Houston Rockets. Rockets are F tier, don't even waste your time talking about them. Rockets have some young studs like Jalen Green and that Fred Van Vliet signing was huge. I think their upgrades have earned them a place in the D tier. No way Obama Rockets are still poverty until they prove otherwise. Yeah, Rockets are still F tier, no question. Fine, Rockets are going in F tier, but you guys will see this year, the Rockets will improve a lot. Shut up and put them in the F tier already. Okay, Rockets are going in the F tier. Next, the Los Angeles Lakers. Anthony Davis is made of glass and LeBron is washed. The Lakers won't win shit this year. Put them in B tier. Donnie, don't you ever disrespect the GOAT LeBron like that. As long as he is still playing, the Lakers have a chance at winning another chip. LeBron isn't like that no more. Lakers don't have the strength to compete with the younger and deeper teams. The Lakers are B tier and I stand by it. Fuck off Trump, King James will always be that guy. Lakers are S tier. Jordan is the GOAT and LeBron is a bitch. Lakers will never ever be S tier. I'm putting them in A tier and that's being generous. Obama's based as fuck. Shut up, Joe. Lakers are going in A tier. Now we have the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis is so fucking overrated. The Bucks are not that good of a team and the only reason Giannis has a ring is because of KD's big ass foot. I'm tired of the Bucks hype. They won't win shit this year. They are an A tier team. No way, look at the Bucks roster, they are absolutely stacked. They are an S tier team. It doesn't matter if they are stacked, they always come up short. Just like you, Donald. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? It means Bucks are trash and belong in A tier. Joe is right. The Bucks have a strong roster, but they always seem to fall short. They were so lucky Durant's foot was on the line the year they won, otherwise they would still be ringless. And they looked horrible this playoffs against the Heat, looked completely outmatched. For that, Bucks are going in the A tier. Now the team that obliterated the Bucks in the playoffs, the Miami Heat. That Cinderella performance that the Heat gave us was spectacular. They beat the shit out of the overhyped Bucks and exposed the fuck out of the Celtics. This Heat team is dirty, and after the run they just had, belong in the S tier. There is no fucking way Heat are an S tier team. Heat lost Gabe Vincent and Max Struess in free agency. I think that will really hurt them. This Heat team had a great run, but they do not have an S tier roster, more like B tier. Jimmy Buckets makes them S tier. Jimmy Buckets is old and disappeared when Heat needed to close out games. They are lucky they didn't blow a 3-0 lead to the Celtics. Heat are going in B tier. Yeah, Heat are going in the B tier. Next are the Dallas Mavericks. Now that Luka and Kyrie have had time to adjust to each other, Mavs will be a real threat. I think they will be an A-tier team. Kyrie is an absolute fucking idiot who says the most off-the-wall shit. And worst of all, he is a locker room cancer. He has destroyed every team he has been a part of. He was and will continue to be the reason that the Mavericks suck. Mavs belong in D-tier. Facts, Joe. Kyrie is a lunatic and is a distraction. I will say though, the Mavs belong in C tier just because Luka is a god. Luka and Kyrie is a monster one-two duo. They are not a D tier team. Shut the fuck up, you Kyrie meat rider. Put Mavs in the C tier, Obama. Fine, Mavs are going in C tier. Next is the New Orleans Pelicans. Zion's baby mama is a baddie. 
Joe, you are a married man. Honestly, I think his side bitch is hotter. Trump, you are also married. Obama, stop being such a cuck. Can we please stick to ranking the team? Pelicans are the sauciest team in the league. Zion got more hoes than anyone, and for that reason, Pelicans are B-tier. Plus, you know damn well Brandon Ingram is smoking that fire-ass Zaza before each game. Pelicans are definitely B-tier. You guys are clowns. There is no way Pelicans are B-tier. It's two versus one, Obama. You know the rules. All right, Pelicans are going in B-tier. Now we got the New York Knicks. Jalen Brunson is a superstar. This Knicks team is serious. Put them in A-tier. I'll admit the Knicks have a solid roster, but Julius Randle is a certified choker. Bro constantly disappears when they need him most. Randle holds this Knicks team back. They are C-tier. Randle is a goddamn superstar. Put some respect on his name. He is a fake superstar who is incapable of being a team leader. Knicks need to trade his fat ass. Randle is a beast. Joe, stop it. But I will say Knicks haven't accomplished enough yet. New York is going in B-tier. Next are the Oklahoma City Thunder. Thunder are a young team with a lot of talent. I expect them to really improve this year. SGA is a sleeper MVP pick this season, I'm telling you. Joe, I 100% agree with you. Thunder will surprise people this year. I think they are a playoff team, Loki. Definitely a C-tier team. Nah, Thunder aren't there yet. Put them in D-tier. Obama's right, Thunder are a C-tier team. Okay, so you're going in the C-tier. A little bit of a reach, but I'll let it slide. Now the Orlando Magic. Magic are dog shit. Put them in F-tier. Nah, Donald, you're tripping, bro. Magic are stacked, and Paolo is the next big thing. Magic are deep as fuck and will make noise in the weak-ass East. Put them in C-tier. Joe is right. Magic are definitely C-tier. What the fuck are you two talking about? Magic are not C-tier. You guys just put Thunder in C-tier, and I let that go, but this shit, no way. Donald, me, and Joe both agree that the Magic belong in C-tier. Yeah, stop being a bitch, Donnie. Fuck this tier list. It's rigged. How can a tier list be rigged, Donald? Fake news! Obama put Magic in C-tier. Okay, Magic are going in C-tier. Next up, the Portland Trail Blazers. Portland is a nasty city, and for that reason, the Blazers are F-tier. Facts. And Dame is so overrated, he's been in the league for ages and hasn't done shit. Dame is one of the best point guards in the league. Stop disrespecting Dame Dalla like that. Plus, with Scoot Henderson, the Blazers should improve. Let's put them in D-tier. There are too many liberals in Portland. Blazers are F-tier. Joe, you are a liberal. Wait, am I? How the fuck is this guy president? I asked myself that same question. But back to the Blazers, are they F or D-tier? Stop stalling Obama. They are going in F-tier. Fine, Blazers are F-tier. Now we have the Indiana Pacers. Halliburton is a stud. I can't wait for him to become an all-NBA player. Pacers had some good free agency moves too. They should be in D-tier. Pacers are ass, but Halliburton is literally so good that he makes them D-tier. Halley is a beast. Okay, then Pacers are going in the D-tier. Next, the Detroit Pistons. Pistons are ass, put them in F-tier. I agree with the Cheeto F-tier. Are we even gonna discuss the team at all? Pistons are so bad they don't even deserve to be mentioned. Put them in F-tier and move on. Okay, Pistons are F-tier. Now we got the Sacramento Kings. The Kings have the most well-rounded roster in the entire NBA. They are built to perfection, and now that they have playoff experience, they will be an A-tier team. No way. Kings are still ass. They belong in the C-tier. Obama, you haven't watched enough Kings games. I'm telling you, they are the new version of the 2015 Warriors. Joe, I need whatever you're smoking. Kings are nice, but Biden, you are overhyping them a bit. They are a solid B-tier team. I think B-tier is fair. Light the beam. The beam will be lit in the B-tier. Next are the Phoenix Suns. We all know this team is S-tier. Watching this team makes me wet like I'm book. That reference is older than me, you corny motherfucker. And let's get it straight. Suns have no bench. I don't care how many superstars they have. They can't win a chip like this. They don't need a bench when they have Book, KD, and Beal. When they get bounced in the second round again, we'll see who was right. Suns have no bench and it will kill them. They belong in A tier. I think I would have put Suns in A tier if they didn't trade for Beal. I think Beal will be a game changer and is why Suns are going in the S tier. Next up are the San Antonio Spurs. 
Spurs are F tier. That skeleton looking motherfucker from France is going to be a glorified version of Rudy Gobert. I want to see this dude in the paint against Embiid. He won't do shit. Facts. Victor is overhyped and will get bodied in the big leagues. Spurs are definitely F tier. I think there is an argument for Spurs to go in D tier. No, there isn't. Spurs are trash. Fine, I guess Spurs are going in the F tier. Now the Philadelphia 76ers. My Sixers belong in S tier. They will win it all this year, and Embiid will win back-to-back -back MVPs. It's the same shit every year with the Sixers. Biden, get your head out of your ass and realize the Sixers are not good. Put them in B tier where they belong. No way, man. The Sixers are one of the best teams in the league, and Nick Nurse will be a much better coach for them. I will guarantee you the Sixers will shit the bed again this year like they always do. Trump is right. Sixers continuously fall short, and for that reason, they are going in the B tier. You guys are no longer welcome in the city of brotherly love. Now we have the Toronto Raptors. Raptors belong in F tier just for being in Canada. What does that have to do with anything? Canada sucks and so do the Raptors. Trump is right, Raptors suck. The only reason I think they belong in D tier is because of Scotty Barnes, he's the future. What about Pascal? He hasn't done shit since they won the chip a few years back. Raptors are not good. Raptors are going in D tier, but you guys were too hard on them. Next are the Utah Jazz. Jazz have a solid roster and a lot of picks. They will be good in the future, but are not there yet. I say D tier. Obama's right, Jazz are D tier. Jazz have an unathletic white guy at center in Walker Kessler, so you know they will be a contender down the line. Donald, that's disrespectful. Obama shut the fuck up and put Jazz in D tier. Jazz are going in the D tier. Now we got the Golden State Warriors. The Splash Bros are the most goaded duo in NBA history. As long as Curry, Clay, and Draymond are on the Warriors, they are automatic contenders. Put them in the S tier. The Warriors dynasty is over. They are all old and washed. They belong in B tier. No fucking way you actually think that, Donnie. Warriors are the greatest dynasty of all time. Actually, I think that would be the Bulls in the 90s. Shut the fuck up, Obama. Warriors revolutionized the NBA. They deserve more respect. Put them in S tier. Warriors ain't like that no more. B tier is where they are at now. No way Warriors are B tier. They are at least A tier. Then the Warriors are going in the A tier. Next are the Washington Wizards. Wizards traded everyone away this offseason. Holy shit, who is even on their team? Jordan Poole is F tier. Yeah, Wizards are trash. Automatic F tier. Okay, Wizards are going in F tier. Now the Memphis Grizzlies. Is Ja Morant even playing this year? The only thing he's playing with this year is a strap. Morant is only suspended for 25 games. He'll come back soon and Grizzlies will dominate. They're A tier. They aren't doing shit this year. Put them in B tier. If this team cared about basketball, they would be nice. But for now, they are a little above average team. Grizzlies in the B tier it is. And lastly, the Minnesota Timberwolves. This is by far the most bitch-made team in the NBA. Gobert and Cat are so soft. Put this team in D tier. Anthony Edwards is a future superstar. He alone makes this team C tier. Overrated as fuck, in my opinion. Sleepy Joe, you're overrated as fuck. Donnie is right. Edwards is a stud. T-Wolves belong in C tier because of him. Well, boys, we have successfully ranked all the NBA teams. If you enjoyed this tier list, like and subscribe. And comment down below more video suggestions and your thoughts on this tier list. Also check out our channel and the NFL and MLB tier lists we have already done.